Okay, yes. I know that that is a lot of stuff that I just showed you. However, I have not bought clothes in a long time, and these are not all mine, so it's not as bad as you think. I'm finally getting around to doing another mid slash plus size, depending on how you categorize people, whatever, uh, Shein haul. I have a lot of stuff here, not gonna lie. However, this was a joint order. One of these items is my mom's, which I will show you guys because my mom is a size medium on Shein, I think. Like small to medium, depending on the item. Um, and Sean got some stuff too, and we've never looked at guys' stuff. First of all, the only non-clothing item I purchased was these wig tapes. I have never used these before. I'm not wearing them right now. But I got these for work for when I put my wig on because I noticed that it has been slipping. Um, so yeah, it's just double-sided tape. You kind of put it here. Uh, you take the backings off. And it's supposed to hold your lace fronts down. We'll see how these work. I might do a review on them, but I saw someone on TikTok talking about wig tape. And once I figured out what it was, I definitely wanted to get it because it's a lot easier than trying to glue down a wig. I will say for my choices, um, I picked out some things that I wouldn't normally pick out, uh, which is very interesting. So first I got this little set. Um, and this is an extra large, I think. When I put the little try-on clip up, I will put the sizes underneath. This is actually pretty soft. This is a Hawaiian shirt and shorts combo. Oh yeah, right here, extra large. Uh, so a US size 12, we'll see about that. This is the shirt. shirt. It is just a normal length button up Hawaiian shirt. Now I will probably either wear it open or tied up uh, just because I don't see myself wearing that just full length and normal. Um, and these are the shorts. Now they do have an elastic waist, which seems very stretchy. Um, we'll see about the length. It did not, I don't think it had an inseam listed, but they look a little short, but they are also kind of baggy. So I'm hoping that will compensate. This fits and I'm so excited because the shorts fit exactly how I want them to. They just touch my thigh. There's no pulling here in the front. I'll lift the shirt up so you guys can see. It doesn't hit me in a weird spot, but covered, adorable, love it. And the top button's actually the whole way up. And if it didn't button, that was fine with me because I, like I said, I'd probably wear it open just because this is like a lot going on. Um, or, you know, like tied up, which I think would be very cute as well. Um, which is probably how I'll wear it. Just, you know, like this cute, right? Cute. Plenty of room in the arms. Just, this is so breezy and comfy and I'm so happy this fits. This thing is something that I can wear all summer if I end up liking it, which I feel like if I do, it will become a staple piece. It is a crop top and I will not lie to you. This shirt is definitely inspired by me entering my Pam Anderson era. I am all about like, first of all, this wig, that Pam Anderson look I did, I'm obsessed with it still. And this shirt um, gave me those vibes. It is a crop top that is meant to be really loose and just look like a cut up t-shirt. So it's supposed to sit, I know like, okay, when you look at it, it looks uneven, but that's because it's supposed to sit like off the shoulder. Now I think I'm going to have to stretch this out to really make it stretch because I am quite broad. I actually took my measurements, which helped me with this order. I am 16 and a half inches across from shoulder to shoulder. So I have a pretty wide back. Um, and I also did around my thigh measurements. I noticed that they've started including that for pants and I'm 24 inches around on each of my thighs. So if you're someone who has thick thighs and a wide back, I highly recommend taking your measurements before you order from Shein. Like the like kind of Harley Davidson S Eagle. Um, and so it's like Los Angeles, California, 1980, blah, blah, blah. But it just looks like a cut up t-shirt. No, I'm about it. So hopefully it seems pretty stretchy. Um, I mean, it's just cotton. So I can, I can probably make this work. So here's the Eagle shirt. If you don't, if you just wear it normal, doesn't look awful, 
but it doesn't look great either. Just supposed to slouch off the one side, kind of sit like this. I like it. I think it's cute. It's something that I think will stretch over time. So it'll get even more slouchy, even more, you know, kind of worn in looking. I mean, I can definitely like pull it all the way down and everything. Um, but if you want to wear it like normal, it's going to look a little silly, but if you wear it the way it's cut, it's not so bad. Now I just need cut off denim and Pam Anderson, here I come. Uh, the next thing here, these are actually Sean's. This is a pair of swim trunks. Um, and he was looking for shorter ones. He doesn't like the all the way down past the knee board shorts. So he got some that are like right at the knee or a little bit above. And he got these ones. Uh, they do have a drawstring and they seem pretty stretchy. And they do have the mesh lining, which he's not a super big fan of. So I'm hoping he likes these. But they are kind of a, quite honestly, these are like shorts you shouldn't wear in the ocean or a pool because they blend in with the pool bottom. Uh, but he's a, he's a decent swimmer. So <laughs> these are the ones he got. Uh, this is another pair that he picked out. Some of them were small, some of them were medium. Again, we went by like his jean measurements. Uh, this is the other pair he got. They are black, at the, well, kind of black and gray. Um, again, all of these have pockets too. Uh, these also have the mesh underwear in them and then the gray stripes and the blue stripes. And then this one just has a little pelican tag on them. So I really like these ones. These are the ones I actually picked out for him and then he added a bunch of stuff to the cart as well. These ones just feel like regular shorts, but they do have the lining in them, but they're just this navy blue with the stripes. Uh, so something else that I ordered was this top that had been on my wish list for a while. And I'm not a thousand percent sure it's going to work because I think, yeah, she's very see-through. And this is a large. It's an 810, but is a tie in the back. So it's a little halter top like this, and it's completely tie in the back, completely open, which I really like shirts like this because I can show off my tattoo. And I would probably wear a bralette under this anyway, just because, you know, I'm quite busty. Um, and I do need a little bit of support. So it might not be too bad and it being see-through is not as big of a deal. Um, but I know for some people, they still wouldn't want to wear a bra with this. And I mean, like, can you see my face? I can see the camera. This is a little sheer. Um, as you can probably see, because you can see my bra through it. So I would wear a bralette with it. Now, there is plenty of tie here. And the model had it, like, tied down here. Now, I didn't adjust the neck at all. I just put it over my head. Um, so you can make that as tight or as loose as you want. Personally, I would take this, stretch it down, wrap it around my back, like either right wherever I had my bralette hits or, you know, whatever I'm wearing underneath it. And to create support, I would tie it in the front because instantly now I have a lot of support and another layer of fabric. And, you know, you can just tuck it in the sides if you want. You can make a little bow, let it hang. Let it hang, it's kind of cute. Uh, so yeah. Okay, another pair of swim trunks for Sean. These ones are a little bit brighter. They have a pocket on the back, which is great for when we go snorkeling and stuff. We can put, <coughs> put goggles, room keys, stuff like that all in the pocket. Um, but they're like a nice salmon color and two different tones of gray. So what's on the little label? Uh, something surfing. Wild Wave Surfing is what it says. Now, I'm sure that's not an actual brand. Um, it's just something that Shein puts on here. But, yeah, these are the little shorts he got. So, when I pulled it out of the box, I forgot I got it. And it's not the exact color I thought it was, but I'm pretty happy about it. This is a jacket. Um, and I ordered this because my hero, Meredith Morakovitz, 
wore this adorable outfit to report during spring training and it was these bright pink shorts and bright pink coat. I, I mean, I could wear bright pink to work, but the team colors I like to kind of stick to. So gray is kind of like our accent color. So I picked up this blazer that I'm gonna wear with my little gray shorts and it's herringbone. So it's a really cool pattern. It does have shoulder pads. So we'll see how that looks on me, but it's just got this one button and then I don't think these pockets are real. Oh, maybe they are, they are real pockets. Um, but like, I don't know. I think it'll look really chic and really cool with the shorts. I think it'll just kind of all look really nice on nights when it gets a little bit cold. It's tight in the arms for sure, which was something I was worried about. And yeah, the fit just isn't quite there. It is super tight in the arms. Like I can't move my arms and I'm able to button it, but it just wouldn't look the way I would want it to. Um, and plus it's quite long, but yeah, this, I think this is even a 12 and it's way too narrow across the back and the bicep is super tight. So the next thing they showed the model wearing together and I thought it was a set, but it's actually separates. So if you want to order this, you'll have to buy them in separates. But it is this pair of green shorts that I'm already feeling the fabric and hoping they fit. Um, and they're also not the green I thought they were. They were more of a lighter green and this is kind of like a lettuce green. Um, we'll try them on and see how I feel. But they're just a cotton stretchy, actually they feel more like a linen short. Uh, very stretchy, they would need steamed. And they have a little bit, they have like darts in the front, which if you have thick thighs, you will know, can either be a saving grace or they create that horrid pulling across your thighs where you can't sit down without cutting off your circulation. It sucks. Um, so yeah, hopefully these fit. They do have pockets. He's wearing it with this top. And it's just this cute little tie shirt, like adorable, and it's silky super silky which i was not expecting but i i think it looks super cute these shorts are going back these are a horrible material um i mean the the outfit cute love the vibe looks great like great uh however this is a very silky shirt and i'm definitely going to need to take a safety pin or maybe even tie it and then put a little stitching in it because i can see this coming undone very easily um, again, it fits. It's a little tight in the armpit, but not not uncomfortably so. It's just fitted. Uh, but yeah, these shorts are going back. They don't look awful. However, this color, not good. Don't like it. And like I said, the darts, yeah, they're creating that weird pulling. Another pair of shorts I got, this is actually for part of the Alice in Wonderland series, not anything in particular. And these are very different texture than I thought they would be. So I got these little yellow shorts. Now I don't wear yellow, I don't own yellow. Why you ask? Because I'm very pale and when I put yellow up to my skin and I don't have makeup on, I look like I am going to throw up. Um, or like I'm jaundiced, which I was as a baby, fun fact. But these um, I thought would be really cute and flowy and I'm gonna wear them for my Queen of Hearts look. It's quite cute. And if they fit me well, which I feel like they will be because they're very flowy and just kind of layered and cute. These would be good for a Belle Disney bound too, by the way. Um, then I might, I might wear them again. They're, they're awful cute. So we'll see if not, they were $5 and I can return them. Uh, so for these yellow shorts, I can't decide where I want them to sit quite. Um, but they're very cute. The, I wish this flowy ruffle went the whole way around and was more like a skirt in the back, kind of like a skirt. Uh, but for what I need them for, they are very comfortable. However, I don't think I would wear that in public because they do have a weird, like, I don't know, the fabric gathers funny in the front, but uh, they're very comfy. I would say they would be like Disney approved. Uh, they are a little short though. So these may be a costume only piece. This dress. Now, 
if you have been here for some time. I've been done dirty by Shein Dresses every time. Like I have a 100% failure rate with Shein Dresses, I think. I'm trying to think if, I, if I've kept a single one. I did keep the purple and black one. I'll make a playlist with all my Shein hauls because I find them entertaining. Um, it was way too tight and I, was, I wasn't as big as I am now. I turned that into a crop top. However, got this one. It's a size 12. So in theory, it should fit. Star printed dress. It has these little, uh, you know, kind of cap sleeves. But it's just black. It's probably hard to tell how it looks and it probably looks really shapeless but it comes with this little belt and if it fits I'll be really happy now it looked more like a wrap dress in the picture that might be my fault um but it did look more like a wrap dress so I'm hoping if nothing else I can always split the neckline and turn it into more of a wrap dress luckily I have pretty good seamstress in my family and my grandma so we can usually make stuff work for me um However, I really hope that that just fits. Hooray, we have a dress that fits. Uh, so I this this is really cute. I think it looks really good with the little tie. Um, it's super flowy and very comfy. Um, it like the bottom actually has a little seam here that creates this little like ruffle, but it also kind of keeps everything in place and adds a bit of shape. I know this is a lot of patterns going on right now. Uh, but you know, just focus on the dress. So here's your little cap sleeves. Please ignore my horrific tan. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a good length and it's very comfortable. Like I don't feel like, oh yeah, it fits, but it's not comfortable. Like, no, I think this is perfect. It's very light, very perfect for spring. And I love the pattern. So we have like a one out of however many dresses success rate from Shein. Yippee. Uh, one, my mom saw it and totally called me out on. She was like, are you trying to be Pamela Anderson? And I was like, yes, I am. Uh, so I really hope this one fits. And as you can tell by the color, it is a one piece. And it is, I'm worried about the zipper. I'm real worried about the zipper. Um, it's a one piece high cut red swimsuit. And if it fits, I'll be over the moon. Um, I hope it does. Because it's a 12. They also have this in black. I'm just worried that the straps might be a little long once I get it on. But that's fine. You know, we can shorten straps. It does come with a built-in shelf bra, which is nice. And I can't see the cups through the swimsuit yet. And the cups are actually quite big compared to other... Shein cups, so that's good. So you won't have that weird like circle in the middle of your boob, which always looks like you have a weird nipple situation. I'm not gonna lie, this is very nerve wracking for me to do right now. So I'm just gonna do it, I'm gonna leave it in, and we're not gonna change anything. Okay, here we go. So this is the one piece. Um, I do have undergarments on, in case y'all were wondering. I'll try on swimwear without them. That's gross. So here is the red one piece. And I understand why they use these for Baywatch because they're super flattering. Um, from the side, covers the belly. There's some cheekage, not too much, but it is high cut. Like, I mean, my stomach is here and my thigh is here. So there's like this whole section. Now, depending on how you work it, I mean, and how you're built and where your stomach sits and everything depends on how this looks. So the back actually comes up, provides a good amount of coverage. I know I'm very pale right now. Um, and I take back everything I said about the cups. They are weird. I'm going to have to figure out something with these because they're very, very thick. Um, but yeah, it's a cute one piece. And the straps you can kind of mess with to give you more support. But the zipper, very secure. It's not... You know popping down or anything but you can unzip it you can pull it up it is functional so yay piece this one looks a little different than the picture in the picture it definitely looks more red on the top um but this is one of those ones that i 
say has a belly can either have a belly hammock or have nice coverage and what I mean is there's a cut off like cut out between the top and bottom that depending on how your belly sits it can like hug your belly make a belly hammock or it can cover it now this one is supposed to be really high-waisted and cover it and kind of look like a two-piece even though it's a one piece so black bottoms um looks a little bit high cut in the back we'll try it on and see uh but it has this nice tie in the front and adjustable straps here and then the closure in the back is one of those ones that just slips in all right next one uh doesn't it fit as i thought it would but i don't think it looks bad either so from the front it looks like a two piece and then from the side you can tell it's a one piece so i thought these were going to come up a little more and this would have a little bit more coverage however i don't hate it so still have undergarments on by the way it just covers them um this one not super high cut in the back um yeah i think it's cute and i think this actually unties so i might mess with that a little bit um but the straps are adjustable and from the back it looks a little tight right now it's because I have it twisted. I was trying to hook it and it's really hard to do on your own. Uh, let's show my mom's thing she got. She got a romper. It's actually very cute. So it is this one. You've probably seen it on Facebook ads because that's where she saw it. Um, the bottoms are my only concern is that they are pretty sheer. So they have this cool, I don't know if it's supposed to be green or black, but they kind of look green with the little black, very stretchy top and belt. Now, obviously I'm not trying that on. That's my mom's to try on. Um, last pair of swim trunks for Sean. These ones have swordfish on them and they're a very cool blue color. Um, again, a very dangerous color for the pool. We didn't think this far ahead, but these ones are definitely shorter. Um, again, they have a pocket in the back and the lined underwear inside, um, and the fly on these is not real, so it will not pop open. Uh, but yeah, I thought the swordfish were cool, and they have the right inseam. So next, we have this dress. Again, hit or miss. We'll see. Hopefully, it's a hit because I really like the color combination. Uh, they had this in multiple colors. So if you don't like this color combination, you can, they had like a pink one and like a more green one. So I'm already seeing that it's gonna be wide enough on the shoulders. So hopefully it fits in the arms. It is just this kind of wrap looking dress. Um, I'm gonna have to wear something underneath it or maybe sew it closed a bit because otherwise, hello. We're gonna be showing off everything to people. Okay, so everything said about this dress lies <laughs> i don't i don't know how i feel because every time i move my arms this comes up here and then i think i look like i'm with child like what is what is going on here and if i pull it down it looks okay but it doesn't look the way i thought it would like i thought this would be down a little further, maybe a little bit. I don't know. The proportions, they're not there. Our little coordinating set. This one is way pinker than I thought it was. Um, and also a different material. Interesting. It's these pink shorts. They're very silky. Um, and looks like potentially if you wore dark underwear, they would be see-through. Uh, no pockets on these shorts, but again, very flowy and light. Kind of looks like it could be a skirt. And it comes with a little like ribbon belt. And then the top has my favorite back. This dress also has this kind of back where it is just straight up elastic, which is amazing if you have a broad back. All right, so for the little two-piece set, I will say... I'm glad I went with a size 12. However, I think the proportions look off. Let me just tie this up a little more. Um, something with the length of the shorts 
It's just not working. They're not as flowy as I thought they would be. Um, and the top is a bit big, but not enough that I probably could have sized down um, because the shorts, as you can see, are tight. But I don't know, like there's just, like I feel like I'm just gonna be fidgeting with this the whole time. I think they either need to be like shorter, like maybe if I rolled them up, I feel like that looks much better. I mean, obviously it would look better if I sewed them, but the top is big on the top. So I might actually have to put a little strap or something, but I feel like because I got a 12 in the top instead of a 10, a 10 would have been too small, but there's a big gap here. Like there's, I mean, you can see it sticks out. Um, and then it's a little bit long. So I think if it was just a little bit shorter and a little bit tighter like this, then it would be fine. And the shorts are just a different length. So I'm gonna keep it, but I think I'm gonna just fiddle with the proportions a little bit and see how I like it. Last thing I've already tried on, know it fits, but I'll show you guys anyway, is this little tie shirt. So I made some bold choices this time. I was like, I need patterns in my life. So it is a tie shirt, like I said, it's kind of hard to see. It has these flowy sleeves, ties in the front, but it has a ton of color and different patterns to it. And I think it's really cool. Uh, and again, it was styled with like a big sun hat and like some flare jeans. So, right. so here's the tie top. Um, definitely gonna have to wear like a bralette or something underneath it, uh, cause it's a little more pulled open than I like, but very comfy. Like I said, I already tried this on and I there's actually enough uh, tie here that I could wrap it around and tie it in the back if I want. So yeah, this one just needs a little coverage. So that's everything I got. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. Um, if you're mid-size, if you're not mid-size, you know, whatever you're looking to purchase, hopefully this gave you guys some clarity on what's what fits, what doesn't, how accurate the sizings are. And like I like to say with all of my clothing hauls, uh, just because it doesn't fit you, doesn't mean you have any less worth. The number does not matter, especially with Shein because their sizes are all over the place. And yeah, your body's wonderful just the way it is. You don't gotta change a thing. So I hope to see you guys in the next one. Check out my other mid-size hauls. I will put them linked all around this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one.